Okay, Broncos go up against the Jets this weekend, so let's find a way to win. Please. I know. We're on pace for one of the worst records in franchise history, so we need this win this weekend, and the team wants it. And the team wants it. Look, we've been over the X's and O's a million times. No, they need to eliminate turnovers, get third down conversions, get better at uh, field position off of punts and kickoffs. We know all this. But what really this weekend we're looking at is a team that is so desperate for a win. You could feel it this week in all of their press conferences and everybody who talked to the media. C.J. Anderson kind of put it best. He said, losing sucks. He said, coming here every day and we're not winning, it sucks. And lots of fans feel that way, but so you know the players feel that way too. And what this weekend is about, the team just seeing who goes out there, who has the passion, who doesn't give up. And you know what? The fan support will be a huge thing if guys come out this weekend. You can get tickets for a little bit cheaper, actually, because people are like, eh, I don't know if yeah. I want to go. So great right. opportunity for you to get a couple <laughs> tickets and support the Broncos because they need it and they want it. Well, and they're playing for big reason, too. I mean, it's not – we might not make it to the playoffs, and we can't, but they know that this has a lot to do with what could potentially come afterwards, right? Right. And if you are going to the game or you're thinking about going to the game but thinking, oh, I don't, you know, don't want to see a bad game, these players, basically the next, next month is an audition for them. Everything that happens in the game is on tape, not only for the Broncos to see but for 31 other teams. So these guys know they can't quit. They have to try and play their best and get a win because what happens this month – will determine their future. And Brandon Marshall told me, he even said, we know we're in evaluation mode. The mm -hmm. coaches have told us they're watching us for who sticks around next year. Right. Uh, where are the Jets weak? Where, the, where are they weak? Like, I mean, what do you, how do you get to them? What do you do? You know, the, the Jets are not a super powerful team. The kind of yeah. surprise of the Jets this year is Josh McCowan has come out of nowhere. He's got all of these rushing touchdowns. So Josh McCowan, he's kind of a great game manager, and he's really going to be the tough thing for the Broncos. But outside of that, really, the Jets... There's not a ton of powerhouse pieces in there. Their safety, Jamal Adams, mm -hmm. is kind of the leader on the defense. But, you know, it's sparse. So it's definitely a team that the Broncos, they come out and play with the passion that they seem to be exuding this week. Should be a win. All right. Well, we'll see what happens Sunday right here on CBS4. <laughs> Everybody will be tuning in right. maybe just to see what can happen. Or just go. Right. Go and Romy, It'll be nice weather. Romy's going to be back Monday morning to talk about what happens. It'll be nice to talk about a win. You know, it would be really nice because then I feel like people <laughs> would tune in. Right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Romy.